This video tutorial is provided by the College of Graduate Studies at UCF. In this video, I will review requirements regarding page layout and orientation and demonstrate how to modify these settings within the Word document. If a table or other body content exceeds the established margins for the document, you may use the landscape orientation to accommodate the material. To change the page orientation, you will need to use section breaks to offset the layout change. Whereas a page break places the content which follows onto the next page, the section break creates a divide in the document, wherein pagination and other document-wide formatting changes are not carried over. In the document, first turn on the Show Hide All Formatting button to view any pre-existing formatting. In order to change the orientation of one page, you will need to insert a section break. With your cursor before the table, go to the Page Layout tab and choose Breaks. Choose the section break titled Next Page. This will move the table onto the next page. Now place the cursor after the table and insert another next page section break. This isolates the table on its own page separate from the rest of the document. If you need to change multiple consecutive pages to landscape orientation, you will only need one pair of section breaks above and below the series of pages. The landscape orientation will affect all pages inside these section breaks. With your cursor on the table, go to the Page Layout tab and change the orientation to Landscape. This should only affect the page with your table. Review the pages leading up to and following the table to remove any extraneous page breaks that may be present. Because the section break disrupts the page numbering system, you will need to correct the page numbers on the affected page. With your cursor on the affected page, go to the Insert tab and select Page Number. From the drop-down menu, go to Format Page Numbers, and from this menu, select Continue from Previous Section, then click OK. As a final step, you should update the table of contents and any list of figures or tables to ensure that Word is able to find the correct page number for your content. This concludes the video tutorial for page orientation. If you have any further questions, please use the Format Help section of the Thesis and Dissertation Services site. You may also refer to the PDF instruction file, Page Numbers, Section Breaks, and Orientation. For more video tutorials, please return to the Graduate Thesis and Dissertation web course.